Dear friends and followers, welcome back to my channel and sunny greetings from Papa 7, the cargo apron at Luxembourg Airport. In the background, we have Lima X-Ray Victor Charlie Hotel. She just landed a few minutes ago. And in today's video, I'll show you the process of a Boeing 747 tire change. As the 747 has 18 tires and Cargolux has a fleet of 30 planes, there are 540 tires that are either rolling on a taxiway, taking off or landing on a runway, or are tucked away in the wheel well during flight. But roughly every 100th landing, a tire needs to be changed. And as these planes are constantly flying, there are at least two tire changes happening at this apron every day. So I thought, why not check this out? So let's get started. Delta Tug 4, follow the second guy into the ramp. We'll do. As soon as the plane comes to a stop at its parking position, the maintenance team will instantly inspect all 16 tires for their wear and any damages. If any of the tires is in any way damaged or lacking in tire profile, as shown here, the mechanics take note of that tire and order a new one from the tire shop. They then come around with this changing trailer, which can carry two new tires and comes with all the necessary equipment to make the swap. Before the new tire gets mounted, the safety and transport lid needs to be removed and the pressure needs to be checked in case the tire had a longer downtime after its mount onto the wheel rim. Then the refill valve is opened and the pressure is adjusted to 220 psi with nitrogen. Why nitrogen? Check out the video in the right hand corner. Then the mechanic gets this pneumatically powered hydraulic jack and places it under the landing gear wheel boogie and what happens next is so clever. They attach this tube onto the valve of the used tire and connect it to the jack. The high air pressure in the tire aids the jack as it lifts up the wheel boogie. Now this accelerates the lifting process immensely and is a win-win as the tire will be released from its pressure after the change anyways. Now as the hydraulic jack extends, there is a given host point to prevent the jack from sliding off. And keep in mind, the 747 landing gear tilts once it leaves the ground. So in this case, only the two rear tires will lift up whilst the ones in the front remain on ground. Now whilst the jack is pumping up the rear part of the wheel boogie, the mechanic removes the protective wheel nut cover. The cover also protects the tire pressure sensor which you see here. Now the sensor transmits its reading to a receiver which then presents the numbers on the lower ICAS when opening the gear page. Now preset limits can be determined by the operator to send out a caution in case a tire experiences low pressure. Then the wheel nut is kept in place with this safety ring which needs to be removed by undoing these two screws. The tire is now high enough to get the cart ready which will help the mechanics to pull the tire from the axle. And before we can do that, the center locking wheel nut must be unscrewed with this giant tool nut. Now once the nut is off, which is very similar to the ones they use on Formula 1 cars, The lifting cart is moved under the tire to aid the mechanics. Now it looks so effortlessly, but keep in mind that each 747-8 tire weighs 550 pounds. Once it's off the axle, the used tire is then rolled to the changing trailer. Now the mechanics inspect the brakes for wear and damages. If a brake would need to be changed, similar equipment is brought in and swapping brakes is also only a matter of minutes. Then the new assembled wheel rim and tire gets rolled onto the lifting cart then adjusted to the axle height and carefully pushed over the brake calipers onto the axle. Thank you. 
Once in place, the lifting cart is removed and the mechanic immediately gets started on placing the washer into position and fastening the wheel nut. Then the other mechanic assists with this giant torque wrench with which they initially fasten the nut tighter than it needs to be whilst spinning the wheel ensuring that it spins freely. Now seconds later they open it again and then fasten it with a more precise torque wrench to 250 newton meter as instructed by Boeing exactly how you would do it when changing the tires on your car and then fastening them with a torque wrench at about 100 to 130 newton meter. Once the nut is safely tightened, the wheel nut safety ring is yet again put in place with the two screws to prevent the center locking nut from inadvertently opening. Then the anti-skid sensor is tested and ensured it spins freely before the protective wheel nut cover is put back on again. Once that's mounted, the pressure in the hydraulic jack is released and the two rear wheels gently touch ground again. The jack is then removed and put back onto the changing trailer. Then the mechanics screw on the protective cover onto the rim of the old tire. Then the tire gets labeled and is sent off to the tire shop where they will decide if the tire gets either re-threaded or dismounted from the rim and sent to a recycling plant. The whole changing process took less than 15 minutes and it was an absolute pleasure for me to witness. As mentioned at the beginning of this video, this procedure happens at least twice a day and ensures the safety of the plane, the cargo and us pilots. A tire burst during takeoff and landing is something no one wants and it luckily is a very, very rare occurrence here with Cargolux. Thanks to our amazing mechanics who inspect each tire after each landing. Therefore, a huge thank you to the maintenance team here at Papa 7 and Cargolux for making this video possible. I'm going to have to end this video now as this plane is about to be loaded, fueled and gets ready for its next flight to Hong Kong, where a new tire on the left-hand wing gear will leave its first mark on that runway. That's it for today. If you enjoyed this video and you want to check out why airplane tires have this striped pattern profile, check this video right here. And here's your checklist for today. Subscribe to my channel, check. Activate the notification bell, check. Follow my Instagram account, check. And perform a touch and go at my website, check. And don't forget, a good pilot is always learning. Wishing you all the best, your Captain Joe. G is getting loud at this airport right now. There's planes starting up and taking off everywhere. <laughs>